Hi everyone, I'm Olga Petrova. I'm working as a sales engineer at Sentra. And I'm Max Rader. I'm a longtime user of Sentra products. I also wrote the Sentra courseware and I've done XJS and XReact training. This is the start of uh, a series uh, of videos showing how to use Sentra React UI components, also called EXT React or XReact. In the videos, we'll do pair programming to create an application that uses XReact to fetch a list of recent releases from Spotify and show thumbnails of album art. When the user chooses an album, we'll show a dialog that lets the user listen to track previews and see track information. Let's get started. So, what is XReact? It sounds like we need to learn a new framework. Well, the good news is XReact is not a framework. Instead, it's a set of over 100 robust, pre-built, professionally tested UI components used to create stunning applications. And there is also tooling to help you with styling, debugging and testing. The components range from basics like buttons, labels, panels and input fields. Through amazing and sophisticated components like trees, grids, calendars and charts. Sounds great, let's take a look. So what I've gone to here is called the kitchen sink and that's sort of a showcase of hundreds of examples that show what XReact components look like. So some are real simple like, you know, just an example of what buttons look like. Also, let's We'll just kind of choose some commonly needed things here. Here's a form panel. With check boxes, radio buttons, uh, color field, text field, date field, and so on. One particularly amazing component is the grid. You have pre-built to sort and grouping, filtering capabilities. You can also insert a small chart inside of a cell, uh, special uh, rendering. You can uh, have checkbox, column, uh, insert buttons and other actions. Grids are amazing and they render very quickly, even if you have huge amounts of data behind the grid. Now let's look at the trees. There is also a tree grid component that allows you to show a tree with columns like a grid with all grid functionality. Then there's something called a pivot grid. Pivot grid allows you to aggregate data per several dimensions in rows and columns. In this example, data aggregated per person and company in, row, in rows and year in columns, but we can change this aggregation. For example, we can aggregate data uh, only per person in rows and in this case aggregation will be a bit simpler, but of course you can build more sophisticated aggregations. And you can let your user play around. Next thing we can look at is the calendar. So you can see here, this is a month view. We could also look at it daily calendar, weekly, monthly. And you can uh, specify different rules uh, if events can overlap or not. And you can have different calendars like work, personal calendars. And different time zones are also supported. And now let's look at charting. We have a lot of charts starting from simple bar charts up to more sophisticated uh, financial charts. And there is also nice visualizations based on this JS, like simple heat map visualizations and hierarchical um, visualizations like orga charts. And see here I can expand and collapse each of these nodes. And of course you can use not photos but something else for displaying nodes. Alright, so now we have some idea what X-React components can do. Let's talk about another important topic, licensing. Uh, X-React provides uh, flexible and affordable licensing. 
and your license includes experienced technical support, so there's somebody to help if you need it. Sounds great! Let's start coding our first Xtract application.